Oh, did it work finally? Jeez. I think, I think it worked. I'm assuming this worked. I should probably check. I'm going to check. I'm going to just check. <laughs> um, we're going to minimize that. Oh, nope. It looks like we got people. Okay, so I made it. Yay. Good Lord. Me and my struggle streams, you guys. Hi. Like, oh, hi, big love. You popped in here quick. Um, yeah, so I was all excited to do like a really good quality high, sh like good stream for you guys. And I went out and I had this ordered and I tried to set it up and it's not working. And I'm sad about it. But I keep my word and I said I would be here. So I'm going to be here. And then if I have to take this back and get a new one or something, then I will. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, Kira. I see Kira a lot. Hi, Kira. Hello. I do remember um, a lot of the faces of like the the pictures that you guys have up. I remember you. So we need to start doing lives more often. I know my fault um, up to you guys. At least I want to do it like twice a month so we can all get together and chit chat. Hi, Peyton. I know that you've been dying to actually make it to a stream. I am sorry. I look rough. Um, I haven't exercised yet. So I'm sitting here in my exercise clothes. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm not going to serve looks this time. I am so sorry. But we have a lot to talk about. Aren't I such a troublemaker? I'm a troublemaker. So, oh, hi. Yes, all the Filipinos who are awake early, I actually do have your clock. I have the Manila time on my phone so I can keep track of you guys. Like, I I don't know. I don't know. I do that, though. I do keep track of you guys and know what you're up to and everything. But, um, so, yes, my troublemaking self is here. And it has come to my attention that um, people don't really understand me too well. And not that I, what is that? Oh my gosh, big love. I think you just gave me my first, did you just, did you just, oh my God. That's the first time anyone's ever done that for me, big love. You're the first, you're absolutely the first. And I didn't even know how to work that thing beforehand, but still, thank you, big love. You are like the first person ever to have done that. So Thank you. Why didn't it pop up on the screen? Look, I'm still learning things, right? Okay. Okay. But um, it's come to my attention that a lot of you don't know me as well as, I don't know. I never, on my channel, though some of the people that like to be mean to me say that I am self-aggrandizing, say that I'm egotistical, I've never actually done a video on my channel solely on myself like my channel's dedicated to other people right we always talk about pageant girls we always talk about other people like I like pumping up other people but I've never done a video on myself and now I think it's the reason the fact that I haven't done a video on myself is leading to some confusion about who I am like personality wise now those of you who have been with me and like watched my vlogs and stuff you know but Let's just clear up some things, okay? Let's just clear, clear up some things so people can stop. Because people have made up this thing as if I'm um, some perfect little princess or a little angel. And no. The reason my name is the Sovereign is one for pageant purposes, obviously. But um, I'm the type of person that really likes to do what she wants, the way she likes to do things. So um, I chose that name for a reason. And... People seem to be surprised at my snarky behavior. <laughs> Those of you who saw the video that I uploaded today, uh, yeah, people were all over the place. I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you're so above that. And I just have to say, like, I think you guys are taking YouTube a bit too seriously. I try to do important topics all the time, right? I try to do important topics, but let's not forget that this is YouTube. This is YouTube. It's meant to be funny. It's meant to joke around. It's meant to be nonsensical. And the reason that I became a YouTuber was so that I could just be my weirdo self, you know, unabashedly and have people like me for the weird person that I am. <laughs> like, that's that's why I did it. So um, the fact that but I was laughing, me and my mom have been reading comments all day. We always read your guys' comments. My mom knows a lot of you very thoroughly. Trust me. But 
yeah, it just it baffled me that some people seem to think that that was outside of my, my behavior. I'm just like, no, I'm incredibly nice. I am. But um, let's not pretend that the sovereign the sovereign isn't, you know, snarky or kind of smart ass. I am a little bit kind of my mom will not dispute that. Um, yeah, that video was largely a joke. And if you were offended by it, I mean, if the shoe fits, wear it. That is not that's not my fault. It's not my fault. But um, there will be a lot more fun videos happening on the channel because I like to make you guys smile. And of course, we talk about serious things every now and then. I got to snap on somebody. OK, Samantha. But of course, we're going to have like fun and we're going to joke around and we're going to like and I really hope I don't want to surprise you guys like I want you to get to know my true personality now I don't want to put on like a farce or a fake like the way that you see me on camera is the way that I am regardless of if you like it or not uh that's just how I am I am an extravagant sometimes extra snarky little weirdo I like to wear lace gloves and tiaras and sometimes vintage hats I have a lot of them they haven't appeared on the channel yet but they're coming but that's just that's just who I am. I was kind of hoping that the trolls would come over because I'm just like, you guys want me so bad. Here I am. I'm here. I'm here. And I don't under like maybe it's me, but I don't really understand them because they're just like, you're so egotistical. And I'm just like the pageant people. You guys are not surprised whatsoever. Like the pageant people, they know how like pageant girls act. We are all very confident. We are very poised, but that's just like we we flaunt for the fun of it but that doesn't mean that we are i don't know full of ourselves or think that we're better than somebody else it just means that we are prideful and confident within our own self my confidence has nothing to do with anybody else in the world and they seem very highly offended that i don't care what they have to say or think about me like i posted those of you who have my instagram Oh, you'll be okay. I see you down there. Those of you who have access to my Instagram, you guys know that I am not shy about showing my body or doing whatever. I have plenty of pictures on my Instagram of my bikini photos, my competition photos, whatever. And then some of the trolls were like, oh my God, you should be so ashamed of posting that. And I'm just like, but why? Who said that I have to be ashamed? I'm not. I, I really, I am not. And I honestly don't care what people have to say about what they think of me I just I honestly I couldn't be bothered I couldn't be bothered and I like do you guys care what people say about you honestly is it just me is this a me thing because trolls think that I'm supposed to care what they think and I'm just like the audacity the audacity to think that your words are supposed to impact me in any way in any way whatsoever not to say that I don't you know take people's opinions to heart of course that I, I of course I do you guys give me your opinions all the time we talk about the pageant queens I ask for your suggestions but to pass judgment I don't even pass judgment on the pageant queens outside of competition like could you imagine could you imagine me talking about like Catriona and what she ate for breakfast and oh my god I can't believe she ate that she had a donut like I don't even pass judgment on people myself so i don't under i know a lot of you are pageant people so we're like some of the videos you guys have seen me upload i see you Peyton. i see you some of those videos that you've seen me upload like the most recent one was me kind of just laughing at trolls because for whatever reason i swear you guys for whatever reason they legitimately think that i'm supposed to care what they have to say it baffles me i couldn't believe it me and my mom have had a field day for the last week on the audacity of these people that think that we would care what they have to say. I, we just, I couldn't be bothered. So of course I made an entire video joking about it because one, the views. Sometimes, um, sometimes I'm totally gonna confess. They're like, why would you make a video about it? Why not? Why not? They take YouTube way too seriously, way too seriously. If I get the opportunity to troll some trolls who have the audacity to think that I would care what they had to say, I'm gonna do it. And of course, I'm going to tag my mom in it. We, we had a ball with it. And they're just like, you should be embarrassed about this video. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I am not. What on like, I know that a lot of people see me as a very mature, classy person. But let's not forget that I'm an absolute fool sometimes. And I'm going to make penis jokes. <laughs> I did, you guys. For those of you who didn't see the video, I made, um, it wasn't like a human. It was a horse, okay? 
It was a comparison between a goldfish and a horse because I was being an absolute clown. I was being a clown. <laughs> I'm a nut. I'm a nutty person sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But that's just who I am. And I'd rather, because I don't want to lie to you guys about who I am. I don't want people to think that, oh my gosh, she's so sweet and she's so nice and think I'm incapable of being savage or ruthless. Even though I've warned people in my past videos many times about my savage behavior, I felt that it was necessary to take the opportunity to actually demonstrate that. And it does set a precedence for in the future. So people know how I am now and they're not surprised later in the future. I don't ever want people to actually be like, oh my God, I can't believe she did that. I've been supporting this person. I want you guys to know who I am now so that in the future, you're not surprised by anything I put out. I don't want you to be surprised. Like if I upload a snarky video, you're going to be like, yeah, makes sense. She did that. The one thing I won't ever be is like cruel. You won't ever see me be cruel, right? The people that were upset about the video I just uploaded, like I uploaded a video talking crap about a website. It wasn't a specific person or even like I was talking crap about a website, a form of people who don't identify themselves and they still got offended. And I'm just like, triggered much? Triggered much? Really? My mom said she might pop in here too. She might pop in here. Hi, Melissa. Hi. Hello. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, and the, the only reason that I took the time to make that video is number one, I needed to test my editing skills because when it comes to my own insecurities, like I'm not going to be like, I don't have insecurities, but instead of attacking someone who displays my insecurities, I like to learn from those people. So there was somebody on YouTube, one of the, like the funny channels that took my video and then like re-edited it and made it funnier. And I was just like, God, why are your editing skills better than mine? And I told them, I'm like, your editing skills kill, like are so much better. So when I see someone doing something better than me, I don't attack them and be like, oh my God, you think you're so much better. I try to learn from them and help m use that to help myself grow. So I wanted to test my editing skills. I wanted to display that other side of my personality because I don't want people in their minds to see me as some just perfectly sweet person because then they're going to be horribly surprised when I actually issue a hardcore clap back and I don't want that to happen so I needed to display that part of my personality and at the other at the same time that video was totally self-serving I needed it I needed an excuse to allow my mom to come onto the channel because you guys don't get to see a lot of my mom right so I needed an excuse to let her come on the channel and I needed an excuse to bring the muses onto the channel. It's been something that I've been thinking about for a long time because you, a lot of you know that I've been into acting and I have an acting background. So I want to do more acting stuff on my channel, but I wanted to implement it in a way that wasn't so abrupt, like coming from like left field. So doing this video kind of just was very self-serving and allowed me to do all these things. It allowed me to bring my mom on the channel. It allowed me to issue a clapback that needed to be done because I don't want people in their heads to think that I'm not capable of being savage. I 100% own that. Okay. I can be savage sometimes. So that's why I have the crown of shade, but, and then the muses, I wanted to bring the muses on there. And yeah, for whatever reason, I think they, um, they did, they, tr you know, they did try me. And when I was making the video, like the video was so fun to make. It, it was fun. Like people think that I was like bothered. I'm like, yo, do you think I was bothered when I had to Google image search a horse penis to put in my video? <laughs> like, <laughs> let's, let's be honest. I had to search for that. And then I had to like clip art it out. I had to do that. <laughs> that video was a lot of fun <laughs> to make. So if I get the opportunity Um, the muses. Yes. So there are a total, of, I'm telling you guys now. So future, when you see them popping up in my channel, you won't be confused. Like what the hell is she doing? Our sovereign has lost her mind. Um, there are a total of five muses. Each one is a representative of my personality. So in a way it's kind of me making fun of myself. So Mimi, you guys have met Mimi. Mimi's kind of an asshole. <laughs> she kind of is. She's very snarky. She's very loud. She's very, um, she's just careless. She can be a little mean. She can be a little shallow. I know how Mimi is. That's why I don't let her come on camera very often. That's why she's, she's a bit much, um, but she's one of the five muses. So, um, the other one is like the sweet, innocent one. That's Lily. 
Lily's super cute. She's sweet. She's fun. She's bubbly. She's totally harmless, kind of naive. So I have five different ones that you guys will see throughout my channel. We will do just little skits with them. They will all appear at the same time. It'll be fun. <laughs> and yeah, it, just because it's YouTube and why not take the opportunity to just laugh? Why can't we just laugh? Like even... Even at the end of this video that I just uploaded, right? Mimi took a shot at me. She did take a shot at me. What did Mimi call me? Does anybody remember what she called me? She called me. Oh, what the heck did Mimi call me at the end of this video? I'm trying to remember. Oh, she called me a psychologically questionable secondhand Disney princess. That's what she called me. Yeah. Mimi did that to me. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't nice, but touche, touche. Yeah, I can't really argue with that. Honestly, can you really? Uh oh. Uh oh. What does this say? Okay. <laughs> she sure did. Um, but at the same time, I'm just like, can you really argue with that? I can't. If someone takes a decent shot at me and it's good and it's valid. I, I'd be like, you got me. I don't, I don't know what to say, but, um, yeah, I would question the psychosis of anyone who voluntarily becomes a YouTuber, knowing that they are going to be publicly bashed as long as they're on the internet. That would be psychologically questionable. I think every YouTuber falls in that category. And then secondhand Disney princess. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely true. Absolutely true. She got me on that one. Secondhand Disney. <laughs> I do have seven crowns. I wear a lot of flowy dress. Yeah, she wins. Ooh, my grandma. Yes, she did call me. Yeah, she dragged me. Um, you know what? That Mimi is a savage. That's why I don't let her come on camera very often. But I actually did want to do a a sovereign roast. Like, yeah, a roast of the sovereign by the by the muses. Like, have the muses roast me. I can take it. It's fine. Um, I am scared of Mimi, but <laughs> I likely will do that video just to roast myself because well, why not? I don't take myself too seriously to like be up here whining or crying. You guys know, those of you who have been on my channel, you know when I get triggered. You guys can see when I get triggered. Okay, we can name the times where the Sovereign has gotten triggered. Um, when Vietnam didn't make the top three, I was triggered. Samantha, she triggered me, the pageant girl. Um, the George Floyd stuff triggered me. I cried in the airport during my vlog. So it's pretty easy. You know, I'm, I don't really hide things. And this is why I don't hide things because I never want you guys to in the future be like, you know, who is this person? Or I didn't know this about her. Like, I want you guys to know me now. So in the future, you're not surprised. I'm glad you like my aesthetic. I like it too. Like I... My little, um, I haven't shown my teacups or my tea set on YouTube yet. Maybe in that one video, but here's like, I'm such a Disney, like, I'm a grown woman, but slightly a Disney princess. Yeah, because my teacups are like little flowers. I have, what, four cups of these, and it comes in like a little heart shaped plate. Like, I can't help myself, you guys. That's just how I am, but I'd rather just own it than lie about it. Yes, you are right. Melissa's right again. When DC Media Girl said bullying didn't matter. Yeah, I was triggered. I was triggered. And it's not because, you know, I've been bullied, but I never really cared. I got over that, like, in high school. I stopped caring about bullies in high school. But I have I was the person that defended the crying people, the people that couldn't take the bullies. I can take it, but my friends and, you know, the other weirdos who were my friends, the theater kids... They would come to theater crying and sobbing and like their parents couldn't do anything. I've seen the effects of bullying and even long term bullying. I see what that what that does to people. So for someone to be like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that drove me. That drove me to another level. I couldn't I couldn't take it. I can't take it. And that's the one thing about myself, which I will confess to you is a flaw. I am more concerned about other people than I am myself. Like when it came to the whole doxing thing, I turned that into a tire, an entire joke, right? But when it came to talking about Amberlynn Reed and what she, the type of bullying she was getting online, I took that more seriously than I did any bullying that came against myself, which is, I mean, that's a pretty evident thing. I think that's on my channel. You can see like 
I do better defending other people than I do defending myself, which can be a good and bad thing, but that's just how I am as a person. Something I need to work on. I have to take better care of myself. I know, but I'm a caregiver. It's always been in my nature. Hi, everybody from the Philippines. Hi. What does it say? Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, okay. I don't want to mispronounce your name. I like your name, though. I want to say Emetrius. I, I don't know. Your name sounds like very, um, like you deserve a title. I like it. I like that. But they had an idea. They're like, hey, when you make a video of the, ro- the muses roasting you, can you give them titles? That might be a good idea. I didn't think about that. This is why I like talking to you guys. You're so smart. I might have to think about that. Oh, no, I definitely am. The reason that <laughs> the reason that I went so savage in that video is because I knew I wasn't going to make another video on it. What's the point, right? It's kind of like the whole Charlie Gold situation. I haven't made another video directed at her because what's the point? Obviously, I've said what I had to say, and there's no reason to continuously go back to her. Either she's going to change or she's not. And then people wanted me to talk about like she said, oh, I was going to clap back to the sovereign like. I mean, if you weren't going to say anything and take anything I said seriously, because the video I made towards her, what hers wasn't a joke. Hers was serious, but it seemed like she was going to turn it into a joke, which is not something you want to do when I actually have some valid issues with you. And she's like, I went and bought a crown. Lord have mercy. Everybody in here who is a pageant fan, you guys know, like, I adore the pageant queens. There is no question about that. Like, I treat them like they are my big sisters and I just gas them all day. But you know, I have very high expectations for them. I expect greatness from them. And we all know Charlie does not meet that standard. She does not. And this is, I don't even in my videos or even in the real world, I don't yes queen anybody except a pageant girl because I have strict standards on what makes a queen. And it's the same. I hold myself to the same standard. I'm not going to be like a hypocrite about it. Yeah, I don't like that. That's my that's one of my pet peeves, kind of. And I'm talking about Larissa. Hi, Larissa. Um, Yeah, that's one of my pet peeves. I this is probably one of the reasons I like pageants, but I like people to feel good about themselves. I like to make people happy. I like to make people smile. That's why I like gassing up the pageant queen so much. That's why I do these. I like that. So when I see people who are don't have that a lot of confidence or they're unable to stand up for themselves and then people picking on them, that's like the opposite of the things that I like to do. And yeah, that will that will trigger me. I don't like that. I don't like it. You know, and it's it's not. It's not that I can't, I can definitely take a joke, obviously. (laughs) Obviously, that's one of the reasons that video is out there. Like, I can joke around, I can be snarky, I can be petty. I'm definitely petty. I am petty, I know. Um, But I can take a joke, and I can take some harsh jokes. I've had people make black jokes, you know, towards me, but it was in a funny manner, not necessarily in a racist manner, and I'm like, that's fine. I'm not some, you know, I don't have a stick up my butt, it's totally fine. But once it crosses the line of like severely starting to impact someone or hurt someone, yeah, I'm not going to be nice about that. I just, I never have been. Honestly, I've never been nice about that. (laughs) Ooh, yes. Fashion and beauty. We're going to do that. I've been trying to like pace myself. I don't want to bombard you guys with too much, but I do want to start doing more things targeted towards you guys, because a lot of you have reached out to me and said, you know, I wish I felt as confident as you or I wish I felt as good as you do and I'm just like who said you couldn't like who said that you could not and I can't stand there's like this is another reason I like the pageants people when they get around very confident women they take it as almost a challenge or they start feeling slightly insecure and they start looking at these very confident people as if they're arrogant or like they think they're better than everybody and I'm just here to like let everybody know like I'm very confident but my confident has my confidence has nothing to do with you people or anybody outside of myself the re I'm confident because I feel good about myself not because I feel like I'm better than you if anything I want you to feel good too let's be confident together let's lay together like let's be friends let's what are you doing I want you guys to feel as good as I do which is why I'm going to make more videos targeted towards you even though I do love the pageant queens and I'm going to continue making videos about them. The Miss um, the Miss USA headshot video is coming for sure because you guys know I'm going to do that. 
but I want to make you guys feel better too. I want you to be happy too. You know, when P- and I know some of you deal with like bullying and stuff in your everyday lives, in your real lives. Sometimes you guys deal it, you deal with it from your family. I don't want you to feel like you can't handle it or, or you're alone. I want you to learn how to handle those bullies because quite honestly, when I was in high school and I learned these lessons about the bullies, I tried to fit in for all of freshman year. I tried to fit in. As of sophomore year, I gave up because it clicked in my head that like, why do these people's words matter? Why do I have to care what they have to say? Why do I even want you to like me? Like why? They hated me in high school. And they, the reason they hated me was for stupid stuff. It's because of the way I dressed. Cause you guys like, uh, we talked about my aesthetic, right? I've had this aesthetic since high school. And the girls in high school hated me for it. I used to wear high heels and bows and lace dresses and little vintage pea coats. They hated my guts. They hated them. But I mean, why do I have to care? And I ask you guys the same question. Like, why do you have to care what other people have to say about you? Regardless of it's your style, the way you look, your body, your makeup. Why do you care? Stop caring. Stop caring. Okay, stop caring. Next time someone calls you ugly, tell them they're blind. Like, why do you have to care? Every time someone comes at me, hi from Paris, ooh, I need to come visit you. (laughs) Every time someone comes at me and tries to tell me something nasty or mean, you guys know what I do at this point. Like, I basically just flex in their face and just keep it pushing. Like, someone can, oh, I hate your outfit. You know what I'm gonna do? Flaunt. You hate it? You sure? Like, (laughs) don't let those people, don't let those people phase you. Let me see what you guys are saying down here. Yes, what are you guys doing down here? You're going into grade 10? Yes, that's what, grade 10 is when I gave up on like caring about the bullies. I gave up, gave up. And some of the girls tried to fight me. This is, and yeah, yeah. And that's where there was some confusion. And that's, I understand why there's confusion about me because of which you shouldn't be doing, by the way, do not do this. But a lot of people judge me based on how I look, which you shouldn't be doing. A lot of people see this very sweet girly girl who likes to wear little gloves and bow ties and dresses. And they're like, oh my God, she's so sweet. And to bullies, it makes me out to be a good target as if I'm an easy target. And I've been getting that since high school. The high school girls thought the same thing. They thought this girl came from Japan. She's so weird. She's such a girly girl. She can't do anything. I'm a fighter. (laughs) They always thought that I was, ooh, Brooklyn. What's up? Yeah, they always thought that I was an easy target because they judged me on how I you know, looked. And I will have everyone know, and I know you guys don't know a lot about me, so maybe I need to do more videos on myself, which feels weird to me, but I'll do it for you just so you guys know. But though I like to wear cute clothes and have these little, you know, my nails done and look cute, I was a high school wrestler. I learned how to shoot a rifle when I was 11. <laughs> I played tackle football with the boys. I've been martial, been in martial arts since I was four. I have been on soccer teams. Like I'm a Tom girl and I get dirty and I am rough and I do know how to fight. Um, so, and that's how I got out of high school. Like I, and I would, I was honest with those girls, which is why they never fought me. The girls in high school used to come up to me because it was a very, it was a ratchet high school guys. I went to a ratchet high school, but they would be like, I'm going to fight you after school. I'm going to, I'm going to beat you up and all that stuff. And you know what I would do? I'd be like, Okay, that's fine. Do you do you want to meet after school? Where? Park? I'll be there. And they thought that was weird. And I would tell them straight up because I'm, I've always been an honest person. And I think honesty is the best policy. I told them, um, and you guys don't know this, but the reason I stopped combat sports is because I, I get triggered when I get hit. I don't like being hit. I don't like that type of physical aggression. <laughs> you guys are cute. Um, I don't like physical aggression. So I used to constantly be a part of combat sports until I realized it was triggering me because one, one boy, uh, I was in high school wrestling and he did a cross face on me and he hit my nose and busted my lip and it was an accident on his part, but I don't like to be hit and it's triggering for me. So the only thought in my head is destroy him, which I did. And then I realized I have to stop because I don't like getting hit and it triggers me to the point where I will destroy you. 
and not think about the damage I'm doing while I'm doing it. So I don't participate. I know when to withdraw myself. Okay. I don't do that anymore. But, um, in high school, the girls would be like, I'm going to fight you. And I would tell them straight up, like, look, I will fight you. That's fine. I'm okay with that. But just know that one of us is going to the hospital and one of us is going to jail. That's all I want. Cause I don't fight for fun. I can't do that. I tell them straight, straight truth. So if you want to fight me, I will meet you wherever you want. That's cool. They never showed up. Like never, like never. Because in the great scheme of things, number one, bullies want an easy target. They don't really want to put themselves on the line. They just want to kind of up themselves on your back. They want an easy target. So once people found out I wasn't exactly an easy target or the fact that I potentially was like going to go off the rails on them, they didn't want to fight me, which is kind of why I put out the video I put out. That was kind of me letting everyone know I wasn't lying about my savage behavior. And it's best to set the president now than in the future where people are really going to be surprised. Like I want people to know now I'm not lying. Just don't, let's not go there. Okay. Let's not. Cause I said it during the, um, something about the last time I addressed Charlie gold, because she had said something, she was like belittling racism. And that pissed me off. Cause you guys know how I felt about the whole George Floyd, Floyd thing. And thank you for those of you that watched those videos and didn't judge me for being vulnerable. Cause I thought about it and I was just like, I could have took it out, but I don't like lying to you guys. And I want you to see me in, you know, all of my emotions and who I am as a person, both good and bad. You guys have honestly seen me sick on camera and you didn't even know it. I was very sick, but I don't like hiding things from you. So I decided to keep it in the video. And now, now I'm really happy that I did because a lot of people seem to identify with that feeling. So I'm really happy with that. What does that say? <laughs> Continue. Yes. Mama sovereign will definitely be in my videos. <laughs> she enjoys it. She's a clown. Um, those of you who are on my Instagram, you guys see Mama Sovereign almost every day. Everybody who's on my Instagram, if you watch my Instagram stories, there is a video on there right now of me and my mom dancing in the kitchen because we've been doing at home workouts. I was cooking air fried chicken. It's air fried, not real fried, air fried. And she was doing her workouts. We were dancing to Despacito. Yeah. Instagram people see my mom every day, but she will be in my videos. I'm going to give her a makeover on her birthday, which is next month, next month, next month. <laughs> so we're going to do a makeover, but uh, the family channel is up. So because I'm going to be filming a lot with my mom and my little brother and they want to be a part of YouTube, that's why we're starting the family channel and my family's wacky. OK, so I'm letting you guys know right now. I'm, I didn't lie about it. My family's wacky. <laughs> Oh, you, yeah, Kira, I didn't know Kira was on my Instagram. Hey, girl. I'm trying to do better with my Instagram posts. If you haven't seen, I'm going to do an entire revamp of my Instagram, like make it like aesthetically pleasing and because I'm a perfectionist like that. So why not give myself something else to stress over? Why not? It's quarantine. How are you guys all doing in quarantine, by the way? Are you guys doing okay? Are you guys doing okay? Emetrius, I swear, I hope I'm saying your name right, but I do see you because you're the one I told like, I, when I have kids in the far future, um, I want my kids to have names like that. Like I want my kids to have some beautiful like names. I want that. Like Amitris, I could get behind that. I could get behind that. I see you down there. My mom does love you guys. She does. And she loves reading your comments. She reads your comments like a book. Okay. A book. She will lay in her bed and turn on her phone and read the comments. She doesn't post very often. I'm going to tell her to. She is under Tanya Sovereign. So, and she's on, uh, she's on Twitter too, but she's really bad at it. Hey, I see you guys all there. Locked down in Melbourne. Ooh, I didn't know you were in Melbourne, Australia. Hey. Oh, wow. You've been with me this whole time. You've been, I'm looking at Nesson. There's Ness in here. And then wait, wait, Caius. Caius said he's, they've been around for an entire year. So, I mean, we're talking Catriona's crowning. Like, yeah, you saw me back when I was in Long Beach. Catriona will train the girls this year. Is that even fair? Is that even fair? Peyton, of course I see you. Boy, boy, everybody wants, look, look. 
Peyton wants you all to know that he's the number one fan. And I can't even argue with that. My mom knows who you are, Peyton. Okay. We have had discussions about you. Just in case, like some of you don't understand my involvement with you all. I wake up. Oh, for those of you who aren't part of the discord, I'm going to get in the discord right now, actually, and let them know I'm on live. Every day I wake up, I check your comments and then I check my discord where I talk to everybody in the kingdom. And I've seen some of uh, like Kira Kira's in the kingdom. Um, So if you guys have been wondering about the chit chat and what's happening, there is a discord link in all of my videos where we talk about pageants all the time, all the hater nation stuff. I have been talking to them when I, when I decided I was going to make a video on the whole Kiwi situation, I told the people in the discord what was going on. They have known everything that has been happening the entire time on top of they've been giving me suggestions on videos to do. So I'm just letting you guys know if you're looking for friends or me or, you know, or if you're on like a date and you're trying to pretend to be on your phone, you can come into the kingdom and we will totally have your back. OK, <laughs> just because I know we're all kind of stuck in the house and we don't have friends. So that's why I'm like kingdom. We're all chatting there. I chat there. We talk about our families and vent. I am going to add a channel so that you guys can talk about whatever home issues you're having, because sometimes you need to vent and that is fine. I need to vent sometimes too. You know, um, my, where's my brother? I haven't, I swear I haven't seen my brother in like three days and he lives upstairs. Like the kid just doesn't come down. He just doesn't come see his sister. (laughs) But he is um, going to be featured in the family channel and the family channel is linked in my featured channels on my, you know, home pam- on my home channel page. It's the House of Sovereign. So if you're just like, oh, where's the family? I want to see the family They're They're there. We're all a bunch of weirdos. We are. I don't know. <laughs> my family is safe. We're all good. You know, <clears throat> I have a very awesome, very strong family. Um, And because of my upbringing, it's very diverse. How do I explain that? My mom had me at a very young age. So we were both foster children. And usually when you think foster child, you would think, okay, you didn't have your mom. But in fact, I was in foster care with my mom because my mom had me when she was underage. So my mom is also my foster sister. (laughs) And then I went to high school with my mom, which is, you know, because we're we've been together our entire lives. Like, that's why we're so close. Like, I did go through high school with my mom. Um, so there's my mom and then my grandparents and my uncle and my aunt. My grandma is amazing. You guys have heard me talk about her many times because she is everything that I want to be in life. If my grandma, like, had she wanted to compete in Miss Universe, she could have won. Okay. She could have won. She is beautiful. She is fabulous. If you ever think, where did I get my pension for being fabulous and extra? It came from her, her. It was her. I spent my entire childhood watching this amazing woman with beautiful red nails. And she always had like red lipstick and her hair was always perfect. And she had these like beautiful silk shawls. She was like amazing. And I was, I'm still like baffled by her. And now she has her doctorate degree. And I legitimately think she just got her doctorate because she was bored. Like I think she was bored. And I remember going to visit her and she was in her bed And she didn't have anything to do. She had a glass of wine in one hand and a computer on her lap. And she was doing her doctoral thesis and everything. Like, you guys think I'm extra. Okay, you try, try my grandma. Yeah, yeah, grandma, grandma sovereign is everything. Oh my gosh. I have to, you guys, she has this picture from like the 1960s of her just laid out in furs and a shawl. Like it's a, it's a complete Miss Universe photo moment. I have loved that picture since I was a child. Like why was my grandmother serving so hard in this photo? I'm gonna find it. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you one day. She's, she's amazing. Um, and for those of you who don't know, this is for like way back. If you go way back in my videos, not that I've been on YouTube very long. It's only been like almost two years, but one of my first videos ever was playing Cards Against Humanity with my grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. So (laughs) she said, we love a bougie queen. That's grandma. I'm not super bougie, but grandma, oh Lord. She was the bougie one. Uh, Grandma was bougie. She was bougie, you guys. Oh my God. But like bougie in the most amazing way. Like 
a level of bougie that we could only aspire to ever be. That's why I love her so much. On top of the fact that she's incredibly intelligent. Don't try to tell her anything. I don't argue with her. I don't. The reason I'm going back to school is her. She called me and she's like, so you got time to sign up for classes now, right? Like, I can't argue with her. She wins at everything. But the people that I'm talking about, my grandparents, my grandpa, my aunt, my mom, I played a drunken game of Cards Against Humanity with my grandparents. It, the video is in my channel. You got to go way back. It's there. It was uh, Christmas dinner. I can't believe they even did it. I cannot believe they did it. If you have never played Cards Against Humanity, it's basically a card game to make you a horrible person. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> like, I think, I think, like, a question would be, what does Batman do on the weekend? And some of, like... I can't even, can I even say some of the answers? Some of the answers are so bad. It, I'm, I'm trying to think. Because <laughs> I, I remember one, one of them was what was Batman's guilty pleasure? And it was just like something like gay men that lives three miles away or something. Like, or someone with one of the questions will be like, what does mom have hidden under her bed? And you have to pick a card and play it. And one of the cards would say like nipple tassels. I, it's just, it's just the most insane. I can't even make this stuff up, you guys. I can't even make up stuff as bad as what's in that game. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> and I, I got my grandparents to play, which was just like, that game is a family. My grandpa played, you guys. He's so sweet. My grandpa is like, just... A normal grandpa eating cashews, going fishing, taking care of the grandbabies. And he played. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. You make me want to watch the video because some of the... I'm telling you, these are answers that you don't want to play in front of your family. I will... I'm not going to lie. I took everything out of the game that said jizz. I just wasn't... I, just, I wasn't prepared to say that word in front of my grandparents. Everything else I left in. But anything that said jizz, I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. It was bad. It is a dumb game. It's a dumb game. That was the... It's a stupid, stupid game. Um, but if you're ever bored, you need a good laugh. You want to trigger your family... Cards Against Humanity will get it done. And I, I highly suggest watching that video, but understand when you do watch the video, the object of the game is to try to be as awful as possible, as bad and horrible as possible. Okay, so I'm just letting you know. What is this? I know most people wouldn't play that with their family. That's why I did it. And I was kind of like, fingers crossed, my grandparents didn't kill me. Because there was a 50-50 chance that I was going to be murdered. And yeah, and then I wouldn't be a YouTuber today. They would have had justification to kill me. <laughs> I was hanging on to my soul for dear life. I was just like, Lord, please. What did my grandma, I might have to pull that video up. Because my grandma played the nastiest card. My grandma played some of the most savage cards in the game. And we couldn't believe it was her. I remember what it was. I don't remember the question, but the card she played, I shit you not, was, I don't know, I had to be a question about, like, what, what does your husband do when you're not home or some crap like that, but one of the cards said, taking, taking someone, I can't even do this, taking someone, someone's eyes and putting their balls where their eyes used to be and putting their eyes where their balls used to be like that was an answer in the game I can't I can't like I didn't this is not me I didn't make that game don't be mad at me I'm a nice person <laughs> I'm studying I am studying political relations I wanted to get an international relations major but because I'm now in Northern California there, that's not really accessible right now and it's not really plausible for me to be moving around and going to different schools to do that. So I'm getting political science. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, no. Just, like, you can watch the video because it's still public. <laughs> but that game, I, ha I, like, put the answers on the screen because some of the answers were so god-awful. Like, some of the answers of these cars are like, 
coat hanger abortions. Like, it's really bad. <laughs> oh, my God. And it, there's not, like, you can't... <laughs> Ooh, look at look at you guys in all these different time zones. Oh, look at you. What time is it here? It's six oh six. So I, that's why I I choose I chose five o'clock because it's you know good for me, but at the same time the people on the East Coast because I know Peyton Ryan wanted to hold on, girl. You have to share the link in the O oh, for the for the uh, playing. <laughs> playing the game with my family I'll share it because the video is still up there so I could share it but the answers are really bad so just saying but I chose five o'clock so that people on the east coast could be involved in the live stream because I know Peyton Ryan he'll go to sleep and then he's like oh I didn't get to see the live stream I told you guys I keep track of you I know who you are individually so I try to accommodate everybody that I can and then even the Filipinos I I keep track of when, what time it is over there. Like I have the Manila time lined up with the U.S. Pacific time so I can keep track of when they're awake so I can give them video specific to their country off jump and they can have it. So I try to like cater to everybody and remember like I remember every if everybody's names. If you keep the same name throughout like Twitter or in the Discord chat, then I can identify who you are. So like Kira, I know who that is. Obviously, I know who Peyton Ryan is. Like Peyton, I, I pretty much see you the first thing when I wake up in the morning, like it's Peyton Ryan and he makes sure of it too. <laughs> oh my God. You're in Jamaica. Are you really? I see. It's so weird. I don't, and it's not me trying to like be super conceited. Cause I know everybody's not in the United States, but it's like as a viewer, cause I'm also a YouTube viewer. I will watch other YouTubers and you just automatically, I guess it's an American thing. We just automatically assume everybody's American because Americans were kind of selfish, okay? But it's just crazy when I finally realize YouTubers that I've been watching, they're in like Poland, they're in Ireland. And I'm just like, what? Are you serious this whole time? So I'm in California, just so everybody knows. I'm sure everybody knows, but yeah. So I'm seeing, I've seen different countries. Obviously we've got the Philippines. Oh, Spooky Pookie. Hey, Spooky Pookie. I like your name. Spooky Pookie. <laughs> Spooky Pookie's in the Bay. Well, you said Northern California. I'm in Northern California too. Hey, I'm here. Oh my gosh. So I, I saw Philippines. I've seen Jamaica. I've seen Australia. We got Jersey. We've got New York. Who's this? Oh, we got a lot of New Yorkers in here actually. Hey, what's going on over there? It's happening. Nah. Nah. <laughs> oh, another Cali. Yes, eventually I'm going to be back in Los Angeles, but we never, we don't know when this whole quarantine thing is going to end. We don't know when this is going to look. I know a lot of us were identifying with Mimi's frustrations. Okay, Mimi's been very frustrated with having to stay in quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Texas. Ooh, Texas. There's like, yeah, there's a lot of East Coast people over there. What's going on? San Mateo. Oh, yeah, you're super close. Mm. I'd be like, look, I'm the type of person. I told you guys, I'm a wackadoo. So <laughs> I'm the type of person to go like, be like, hey, you want to grab coffee? I will do it. I have no problem doing that. Like, if you're near me, we can go grab coffee. Too bad we're in quarantine, but I would do it. Can you do a wedding dress haul? Are you trying to feed my like ridiculous fantasy spirit right now? I wish I could do a wedding dress haul. Are you kidding? I'm the type of person that would wear a wedding dress just like as an everyday thing because I could. I would do it. I would do it and have no shame. And I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I actually, a lot of the accessories that I have are actually wedding accessories because wedding accessories tend to be really pretty, really extravagant. I have like full body chain necklaces that are meant for weddings. I don't care. You know, I wear it. I'm gonna wear it. Whatever. Whatever. I can't help myself. I can't help it. I would love to go to the Philippines. You guys keep saying it like I don't want to go. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you serious? Are you Island paradise? Hello? Yes. Yes. I want to go. <laughs> like <laughs> when and where? I'm trapped in California right now. You crazy? Of course I want to go. Oh, oh. And of course my mom wants to go. Every time I leave her, she gets very upset. She gets extremely offended. Like my mom is my best friend. 
So if I do something without her, she's she's mad. She's mad. I'm going to text her, actually, and let her know we're on live, so maybe she'll come downstairs. I'm live streaming. Do you want to come say hi? Yeah. <laughs> My mom adores you guys. She really does. She really does. So, what is this? Oh, look at you guys. Look, make friends. Make friends. Yes, make friends. I want... I want make lots of friends. We're going to be in this for the long haul. You guys are going to be the OG people in a couple years. Okay. Two years from now, when people are confused about who this wacky person is that they're watching, you guys are going to be the ones to be like, oh, I know who she is. Oh, you know, a lot of, you know, <laughs> you guys know what upsets me. You guys know what makes me cry. You guys know what makes me happy. At this point, you know, my personal style in a few, you know, a couple weeks, you're going to know my full skincare routine because I said I would start doing some things to, to help you guys out. Oh, yeah. Me and my mom are like this, like this. And in my mom's phone, she has me saved as sister. I'm sister in the phone. That's just how she has me saved. And my laptop's threatening to die on me, threatening me with a power outage, which I don't appreciate. Okay, so I will... I'm going to move my laptop because this is what I'm reading on. Oh, okay. Well, I got to be careful then. <laughs> I'll put this over here and then plug it in so I can continue to like read your comments. There we go. I don't know if she's even, look, she, oh, okay. She says not this time. Oh, I hate having it over there. Oh, I don't mind. I, you guys know you don't bug me. Like, especially like I'm super intrusive anyways. Like I ask you guys all types of freaking personal questions because I'm just like, what do you do? Where do you like, I've never asked someone where they live because that's very rude, but somebody, I her name is Shannon and I was messaging with her earlier and it was on my most recent video talking about self-love. And I was just telling people like, go and do the things that make you happy and don't prolong it. Don't feel like you can't do it. And she's just like, you know what? I'm she's, I guess she's a tap dancer, tap, tap dancer and she does ballet and she's starting to do it in her house. And I was like, girl, like how long have you been doing it? Like I keep me updated. I low key wanted to ask what her Instagram was because I'm just like, when I make those connections with you guys, I mean it. I want to see how you're doing. I want to see what you're up to. Like we have a little friendship going on here. I like it. And maybe the reason I'm like this is because, um, Oh, good night. I know some of you are up late. Some of you are up early. Some of you are up late. So for those of you going to sleep, good night, sleep tight, you know, go to sleep feeling fabulous and wonderful sleep on a silk pillow. If it makes you feel better. I do. I do. It keeps you from having like frizzy hair and flyaways. Tip. <laughs> Just letting you know. Yes, but some of um, merch, I have thought about merch and I'm not like, I'm not the type of YouTuber to be like, I don't know, think I'm super special for no reason. Like, I feel like merch is a milestone you get to when you get to like 100,000 subscribers, then I would be like, yeah, let's do merch. And then I, I think about stuff way far in advance, like way far in advance. Like my hairstyles for next year's spring, I already have planned. I'm that person. But I have thought about merch and I likely wouldn't do it until I reached very close to 100,000 subscribers. But I don't want to do like lazy merch. I don't like that. Like I know YouTubers, they'll like buy shirts and then have like words printed on them and be like merch. I don't want to do that because number one, it doesn't fit my style. I want something that's very me. And I want, if you guys were to have merch, I want something that's very specific to our court, our channel, our people. Now, one thing that I will say, and if I see anybody steal my merch ideas, I swear you've never seen me go savage the way I will go savage on you. But I do, I have been thinking a lot about merch. What does that say? Oh yeah. You guys are up early. We're waking up the Filipinos right now. They're waking up, wake up, wake up. The merch that I do, I did think about was number one for the pageant fans. I wanted to do a sash shirt. 
So it's just a, a normal t-shirt with likely with one of the, with the court colors. There are specific colors to my court. If you, if you're paying attention to what I'm up to, you guys know all the little hidden gems that I have laid around. I'm a big fan of Easter eggs, you guys. So I do hide things in my channel for you to find just so you know, both channels, two channels now. Um, but I want to do a sash shirt. So for, cause I know I have a lot of Filipino fans. I do want to do crowns. I want to do a specific diadem for people. I've actually spoken to some people who make them specifically because I'm only a fan of good quality. And I do have one. I need to stop ordering these things. I have a diadem that is being ordered from the Ukraine that's scheduled to be here in August because it's being custom made. I don't know why I do the things I do. Okay. Did I need it? No. Did I want it? Yes, I got it. Okay. I have a problem. We know this. But I want merch that's going to be specific to this court. So because I know I have a lot of Filipino fans, I do want to give them a sash shirt that says Philippines on it. So it would look like you're wearing a pageant sash on your shirt. So you can rep Philippines all day long because I know that that's something that they like. Um, I want you... Spotlight Stealer! Hi! Hi! See, I told you I know some of you guys, and that's another name that I know. Yes. I'm just keeping an eye on making sure we're not having too many glitchy issues over here. Spotlight Stealer is a member of the Coterie, you guys. That's a Coterie member right there. Spotlight. And I do believe you. Spotlight Stealer is a Viscount. That's a Viscount right there. All hail Viscount Spotlight Stealer. We give out titles in this court. Yes, we do. And when one of the title holders enters the court, we shall acknowledge them. Hello. Hello, my lord. Spotlight Stealer has um, a lot of the a lot of the coterie members, the members of my Patreon. They don't necessarily care about the content on my Patreon, though. I do put it there like my dream pageant gown is on Patreon. They've seen it. The reason I haven't posted it anywhere else is because I don't want you guys to steal it. But <laughs> Um, they have seen like my house on Patreon. You've seen my house. You've seen my family. There's one that I have to upload of me and my mom being stupid in the bathroom. She's doing her hair. Like the Patreon members get everything. And what, Oh, the Patreon members saw the video of me and my mom four days before I put it out today. So the whole, the Kiwi video, the Patreon members knew that was coming four days ago. And they did see, um, yes, Peyton, you are. Peyton is the first noble of the court. I crowned myself. That was the first title I ever gave out was Peyton. When I decided to start giving out titles, Peyton was the first one to get it. The coterie came after the nobles, technically. But yes, the coterie. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to change that or not. I like, um, I'm helping you guys with your history tests, by the way. You're welcome. Those of you still in school. I'm helping you with your tests. Because my my coterie actually does go by historical accuracy. So Viscounts are above, you know, Viscounts are above the barons and the barons are above the knights and everything. And I was thinking about turning the aristocracy into knights because I kind of like the idea of having everybody there have a title. But there's not enough people to really care about it right now. But I'm thinking about it in the future. I think about you guys a lot. You're my only friends. Let's be honest about this. <laughs> I, I do want, um, I want you guys to have specific headgear, but I want it to be wearable because I'm not giving you guys something to just not wear it. Okay. That's not what we do in my court. I want you guys to have something that I know it's going to challenge you confidence wise a little bit because a lot of people are going to be like, Oh, can I wear this in public? But I do want it to be wearable. So what I am likely going to do when it comes time is give you guys circlets that will be available to everybody who wants it. And then maybe a specific line of circlets for the coterie. But a circlet is basically like the old school, like medieval crowns. It's basically just a small circle of gold. So it's it's easily wearable, unlike a tiara, like, like my sovereign crown, the gold one. It's very difficult to just walk around town like that without people being like, what the hell are you doing, right? That one I typically don't wear. That one's for special occasions like Miss Universe. But... What are the other ones? My my baby T. Yeah, my baby tiara, the little bun tiara. I have a silver baby tiara. I have the bun tiara. Those two I wear throughout the day. 
Um, we, we need to name these. <laughs> we need to name all of my crowns. We might have to make a video about this and then you guys can name them. So, because I'm getting at least two more. And then there's the emerald one that I just debuted. Good Lord. Good Lord, I have a problem. I know. I know. Oh, a tiara charm. See, that's nice. What is that? You, I'm looking at Jeffrey's post here. A request. Can you make a reaction video of this? I don't know what that is, but I'll look it up. I'm going to look it up and see what like you're up to. <laughs> a crown for the muses too. Good Lord. I'm super excited to actually film with the muses. I've had a lot of ideas about what to do with those, with those five, a lot of ideas. So a lot, um, I'm incredibly creative, but I need to make sure I have the technical capacity to make things happen. Cause when it comes to YouTube, you guys don't really see a lot of what goes on behind the scenes, but I kind of want to like show you a little bit. I wonder if I can do that. This is the master bedroom in the house. I'm going to kind of show you guys so you can see. I'm going to try. So over here is a box light. There's a, it's zoomed in. And then you can see, oh, yeah. So there's the pole and it's like stretching my backdrop. Oop, nope, still off center. I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> But when it, got, when it comes to behind the scenes stuff, it's actually a lot more extensive than you would think. Like uh, usually I don't go a whole week without uploading, right? But because I was really messing with my own editing skills, that Kiwi video took a minute. And though it was fun, you guys, every single clip, every single transition that you see that video make is done by hand. And usually it's done several times. Each little picture, each little download has to be, what does that say? I'm over here watching that each little clip and each little download has to be downloaded individually then placed in the video like it is such extensive work and that's not even that's not even the initial filming so for the initial filming luckily i have a permanent setup now but for the initial filming i had to film for that video twice and you know why for those of you following along i had to film for that video two separate times and then i had to edit me and my mom's video and then layer the other video on top of that video and then render that video and then put all the edits in the video and all the downloads in the video. Like it is insanity. Like people, um, oh God, I've seen, I've seen YouTubers, not really me. People don't get on me about it yet, but I've seen other YouTubers take crap for like the money that they make. Cause people are like, Oh, your job's so easy. You don't deserve that money. And I'm just like, I know what time and effort is put into like edited videos and good Lord. And that's not even like the makeup and styling that goes into it. Uh, so those of us that are in the kingdom, we were talking about D'Angelo Wallace's video. He just did on Jeffree Star. It was an hour long and there was a ton of edits in it. And I was telling them like, you guys, you have to realize that that video, just rendering the video before putting it on YouTube, just putting just the laptop, putting together the pieces of that video took at least four hours. It took at least four hours. The Kiwi video I just uploaded today took almost three hours just to put on YouTube. And it took two hours to render it onto my laptop. Like, <laughs> this work is not for the faint of heart. I slept four hours. I slept four hours last night and I should be sleeping right now, but I keep my word to you guys. When I say I'm going to live stream, I'm going to be here. <laughs> no matter how many technical difficulties I have, <laughs> I'm going to get this straight. We're going to work on it. Peyton, you're funny. You are so funny. Yes, of course. So yeah, for everybody, like we're always going to have pageant videos, always going to have pageant videos, no matter what. I do want to do some introductory pageant videos because I have a lot of people who are coming from my other videos outside of the pageant world and they're trickling into the pageant world and they can't seem to figure out what the hell is going on. Like they just don't comprehend but they seem to like the videos. Like I've gotten messages and they'll tell me, I love the videos and I love it when you talk about the pageant girls, but I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to, <laughs> they just don't understand. So I wanna make an introduction to pageants and let people know like the purpose of pageants because I feel like that will benefit the general public. Cause I think a lot of people just think, oh, pageant girls are just so, 
self-absorbed, show offy little jerks. <laughs> I'm just like, no, they're not. They're not. And that's why I have to do the video on confidence, okay? Because people just don't seem to know how to handle my confidence or other people's confidence. And that's not okay because that means there's insecurity within yourself. And I don't want anybody feeling insecurity, okay? There is no reason for anybody to feel less than when I walk into a room. And I've gotten that from people. They'll automatically think that she just thinks she's better than me. Like, no, I don't. Why would you project that on me? If you don't feel adequate, that means you need to better yourself. I would feel... Like there's certain people that would make me feel my own inadequacies, but I would never lash out at them. I would just ask them like, hey, sis. And it's happened a couple of times. Like there's been some girls who were stunning before I really got myself together. They were stunning. And instead of being like this show offy jerk, I would just like go to those girls and they were always super nice, right? They're not even mean. People just think that they're pretty and like mean, but they're not. I'll go and be like, you look amazing. And they'd be like, oh, thank you. And I'd be like, but how? Like how, why do you look? so pretty they would like tell me like all you have to do is just ask people for help go make friends with the people that intimidate you and let them help you meet your own standards but you should never feel inadequate next to someone unless you need to better yourself but that that has nothing to do with the other person like I, I just want people to understand that because that's one thing that I get all the time and I'm just like I don't even do videos on myself on my channel. I don't even talk about myself. Never. I talk about other people constantly, but I always get the comment of, you're so full of yourself. You're so <laughs> just because I'm confident and outspoken. And I'm just like, if you are intimidated by my mere presence, that means you have insecurity issues, not I'm being you know, selfish or I'm being arrogant. I'm happy and confident because I'm happy with myself. And whenever I'm not happy with myself, I go fix myself and then get happier. Like, but it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with anybody around me. It's just crazy. It absolutely, it, it baffles. That's the one thing that just baffles my mind. People are just like, you're arrogant, but I don't even talk about myself. I talk about other women constantly constantly talk about other women and how beautiful they are I've never spoken about like I've never done my own fashion video here I think I've done one makeup video like, I, like where where so I'm gonna start doing more live streams there will be more live streams so that we all can get together make friends feel happy you know we all need a friend right just I don't ever want you I can't wait to do the confidence video because I feel like like you guys need that pep in your step. You need a girlfriend to be like, no, sis, you slay. You slay. You slay because I said it. Do it because I said so. Go slay. Me and my mom do that to each other. We do that to each other all the time. <laughs> my mom will be like, yes. And I'll be like, girl, get it. Get it. You guys saw I posted a picture of my mom's abs, right? I We hype each other up all the time. That's what good girlfriends are supposed to do. So if you ever see a pretty girl and she seems like super intimidating and stuff, and I'm not saying pretty girls can't be mean. Of course they can. But you shouldn't automatically assume that they're mean or arrogant simply because they're pretty or confident. Most of the time, they're really nice and will gladly help you if you just ask for it. That's how I get a lot of my tips. I'll go ask the pretty girls, make friends with them, and then we like hype each other up. That's good girlfriends right there. Yes, good girlfriends. We, we don't have arrogant sisters. None of my... I don't think any of my pageant girls that I love are like arrogant. I love it when they flex in my face. I love it when my girlfriend stunt on me. Like, get it, girl. What, what? Bring it. Give it to me. I want all of it. All of it. Give me more. Give me an extra twirl. Give me another hair flip. What? Like, why is that offensive to people? I need people to do that. Like, I need that. I live. People... I don't, I don't understand. People seem to feed off of each other's negativity instead of the positivity. I don't take the flexing and the show-offy behavior of pageant girls as an attack on me. I will hype you girls up all the time. You're not going to make me feel less confident, but I will love you for it. I will love you for your looks, your stunning. I'm not going to hate on a girl for being pretty. That's what I am not going to do. I will tell a girl, girl, you look good. You look good. I like it. <laughs> like, Amazing. What does this say? We're talking about, yes, that's why I stayed on live stream because I know some of you are like waking up and you're like, ah, she's on the live. (laughs) 
Oh yeah, that's what someone said. We we're thinking about assigning the um the the muses titles, and you know what? Maybe you guys can help me out on something. Oh, my muscles are showing. See, that's an insecurity of mine, which is weird. It's because muscles are a good thing. It shows that I'm physically fit, but I feel like it makes me seem super bulky. That's an insecurity of mine. I'd be like, ah, my muscles. <laughs> Put them away. Um, hi, Rolanda. Look, I'm waving at my laptop. Hi. Um, so something you guys can help me with. I have named three, three, let me, let me. Yes, I've named only, only three muses. I've only named three of them. So if any of you have good ideas for the remaining two muses, that would totally help. Yes. So the personality traits of the two remaining muses that have yet to be named, um, the, the muse that is the good side of me, like the purest form of myself, she has yet to be named. She, like she is the angelic, pure, like can do no wrong, perfectly good muse. I haven't named her. I don't know what to name her. I don't want to name her something basic because I feel like Mimi's name is kind of a joke because it's spelled meme <laughs> and it's Mimi. Hello, Mimi. So her name was, it was okay being basic because it was kind of a joke. Lily's name has meaning. Um, it has meaning, you know, behind the French royalty and the fact that lilies are perceived to be the purest flower, the flower of virginity. So that's why she's Lily. And then I don't know if I'm going to keep the other one because the other one's name was simply just going to be spirit. But those were the three. So the one that's not named is the good one and the smart one, the logical one, the meticulous bookworm, the calculating, you know, focused that one. She has no name. I don't know what to call her. I have no idea what to call her. Oh, I like that one, Angela, because I, I get it. I get what you did. I get what you did. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm like looking. Yeah, I was really happy to have Mimi. <laughs> I was, you guys should have, uh, when my mom, my mom and my grandmother saw Mimi right before she went on camera and they were just like, what's happening? <laughs> they saw, they saw it right before that was filmed. They were just like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> That was, uh, that was fun. <laughs> I love you guys too. You guys make me so happy. I swear you guys make me so happy, right? Like so happy. That's why people are like, I don't pay attention to like trolls and stuff. And that's the reason I can easily laugh at trolls because I have you guys, like you guys can take a joke. You guys understand that I'm a weirdo sometimes. Um, but you guys, you get it. You're normal people. I don't know what's wrong with everyone else. We're the normal ones, right? I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, but we need to figure, I need to figure out some names for, for the, for the muses and get all their styling down because each one of them looks distinctly different from the others and then figure out what situations we're going to get them into. One situation I will tell you ahead of time before uh, we'll go to an hour and 30 minutes just to make sure we can get all the Filipinos we can as they wake up. You guys do got me. Big love. You've had me for a while. You do. Yes. Yes. People keep saying, oh, she's going to take down the Kiwi video. No, I'm not. For what? Why? Why would I take it down? You know how much work I put in that video? That's one of my most highly edited videos. I'm not taking that down. No, no, I will not. <laughs> Um, but yeah, one of the situations that I want to put the muses into is something that happens in my head because all of the muses are different facets of my personality, right? So ladies, we all have had this happen to us. Okay. So don't judge me, but you guys know that moment when I'm trying to like not curse, but it's okay. Okay. You know that moment when a fuck boy calls you or texts you, he texts you like, what are you doing? Or some BS and you know, he's on that shit again. Most ladies have had that situation where a good for nothing man has texted you and you stop and you look at your phone and you're just like, what do I do? Right? <laughs> 
what is that? I'm reading, but I want to do that scenario. It's the thought process that, that women go through when a fuck boy texts you, because in your mind, you kind of have the conversation with yourself. You're just like, okay, I shouldn't text back, but I want to text back because he's hot, but I shouldn't text back. He's a waste of time. I can't spend time with him, but he's hot. Like I want the muses to have that argument (laughs) because it's something we all go through. I think that's entirely relatable for most women, for most of us. I asked my mom about it. She's like, yeah, we've been there. We've all been there. (laughs) I've been there. Even I'm, I'm not susceptible to those type of men, but every now and like, if it's a, there's a guy that I used to like in Los Angeles and I stopped talking to him because he's a waste of time, but he will still every now and then Snapchat message me for what reason? I don't know. You're, you said you weren't interested. Like, don't waste my time. Why are you still Snapchatting me? He'll Snapchat me and I'll be like, because there's still a side of you that still be like, but I kind of like him. But then you're like, no. But I kind of like him. No. But he's cute and he's kind of smart. No. <laughs> yeah. It happens to all of us. Don't worry. I am not flirting with him. I'm just saying. It's crossed my mind. Quarantine is a special type of nonsense. It will drive you crazy. And I've talked to some girls. They're sitting in quarantine by themselves having hor- horrible thoughts about texting their exes. Don't do it. No. I forbid it. All of you. Do not text your no good ex. Okay, don't you dare. Just in case you needed someone to (laughs) tell you not to, don't do it. Yeah, God, this is so weird because it's like this is like a beginning of a journey with you guys. A lot of you are going to see me develop over a very long period of time. And it's just like, wow, some of you are probably going to see me when I eventually do have like a significant other. Some of you might still be here when I have like a kick because I'm not going to get rid of my YouTube channel. I'm going to be here. So it's just like some of you are going to see my firstborn like, ah, that's so weird. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Oh, we have such a long journey. Oh, let me look at these. As we're talking, I'm getting some comments. Let's see. Let's see what the comments are. I just write into my studio. Let's see. See, yeah, I'm still getting troll troll comments. They're like, you're so unbothered. You made a 40 minute video on it. I'm a YouTuber. I make videos on everything. I have a video about shoes. Why are we surprised about this? Why are we? Why are we surprised about this? Like why? Taylor said sovereign seems like a good friend seems like someone that would have a flag with your face on it and wave it outside your workplace every time she comes to pick you up from work for cocktails taylor gets me taylor nailed it nailed it i'm i'm an i am an obnoxious friend i'm that obnoxious i will especially if you're like having a bad day or something or you ask me to come pick you up you i'm an obnoxious friend i will roll up to your house and like jump through your bedroom window and pull you out of bed and be like, sis, we're going to get drinks. Like I'm an obnoxious friend. I am, but I'll make you happy. And I got your back no matter what. So yeah, Taylor gets me. Let's see what else. Someone's talking about the stupid form. Why? I don't know. See, this is why I don't understand people. I don't understand people. Is it me? It's gotta be me. Because they're like, you said you've only been on the form four times, which is the truth. I have no reason to lie. But on this ridiculous form, they're just like, they think that I have extra accounts. And I'm just like, but why would I have them? It doesn't benefit me in any way. Why would, why would I have them? If I was a permanent member of the hater nation, then maybe, but I don't care. And I'm not a hater. So why do they think that? They're so weird. If I'm willing to use my official account to go troll you guys, why would I need a second, third, fourth? Like, that's a lot of work. That's a, that is a lot of work. I would rather nap. I would rather nap. I would rather sleep. Let's be honest about that. Like some people like, they're going to get their feelings hurt around me. People got to learn how to take a joke because I'm going to be making, especially if you come for me. If you try me, you think I'm not going to make jokes about I'm going to clown all over YouTube, all over YouTube, all over YouTube. Okay. Like, come on. 
Do you not know me at all? They haven't researched me at all. Do you know what kind of nonsense I get into? You're surprised. You should see my mother. You think I'm bad. See my mother. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. They take this so seriously. They're like self-love and having a big ego is different. Um, it is different for sure. But I mean, I don't really see what that has to do with anything. Why am I not allowed to have an ego? Like, I understand having, there's a, there's a good ego and there's a bad ego, right? So if I'm ever in the mindset to think that I'm better than anyone or that I have the right to impact someone's life or people have to care about me or what I say, that's a problem. That's a problem. But I've never been that way. Like, I, I totally, it's YouTube. No one has to, no one has to care what I have to say. Like, it's YouTube, okay? Whatever. So other than, I think they think I have a big ego because I don't care what they have to say. <laughs> and I mean, if that's what you consider having an ego, then I got a big ego. <laughs> like, I don't have to tell you, I don't care what you have to say. Not like you guys, because I listen to you guys all the time. But when it comes to people bashing me, dragging me, calling me names, ugly, this, that, or the other, like, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. And the audacity to think that I should care about what strangers have to say. Oh my God, the absolute gall. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Why do I have to care what you... I post, like, I posted a picture and they're just like, I can't believe you posted that picture. You're posting a nude. Number one, it wasn't a nude at all. I'm wearing a full-on jacket. Like, you can't even see anything. But they're like, you should be ashamed. Says who? Says who? Who said I have to be ashamed? If my mother had a problem with it, then maybe, maybe I would care. If my grandmother had a problem with it, I would have to listen to her for sure. But random people on a form that aren't brave enough to even list their own name, I have to care what you have to say. I think not. What? <laughs> it wasn't a nude, but... That's they have the like mental capacity of toddlers, right? So they will put like a lot of the stuff about me, they'll put lies out. Absolute lies. Like they put an, they put a random phone number, said it was my number, and I'm just like they just put absolute lies out there, even like the address. Absolute lies. And I'm just like you guys have like the mental capacity of toddlers and you want me to take you seriously? Of course I turned the video into a joke. Of course I did. And it was the one opportunity I had on YouTube to be absolutely ruthless and not get in trouble for it because no one's going to get mad at me for going after a form of bullies. Like on the other YouTubers are aware of them. YouTubers typically ignore them, ignore them, but YouTubers know that it's a form full of bullies. Like the YouTubers all know about the form. So it's just like, just nobody's been brave enough to say anything and I don't care. I just don't. <laughs> Peyton's like hashtag not a rando. Of course not you boo. And that's why I'm like, I'm careful. I'm careful about, you know, what I say I do and do not care about because to an extent, I can't say I don't care about like people on the internet because you guys, I care about if Peyton or spotlight killer ever came to me and was just like, look, this is a problem and I think you were too mean, I would listen to them because I know that they're saying it from a place of concern and not just saying it to bash me. I would totally listen to them. But why on earth would anyone listen to people who dedicated their time to being mean to you? The entire point of the Kiwi cave, I like to call it fertilizer fields. Okay, we're going to call it fertilizer fields. So the entire point of fertilizer fields is to make fun of people in the nastiest, most inhumane way. I'm talking about racist jokes. I'm talking about making fun of disabled people. They do it. They do things that are completely abhorrent. So why on earth would I take anything that these people had to say to heart? Why? I'm just, I'm searching for the reason. And then they're like, but why make a video? Because I'm a huge, literally for the views, for the views there. Because they love to accuse me of just like, oh, you just did it for the views. A lot of the videos that I do, I just do because I want to do them. But the Kiwi video had a, I told you guys earlier that I actually had a lot of different reasons 
to do it, like bringing out the muses, bringing out my mom, issuing a clap back, which I've never done before. I wanted, I wanted to use that video to do all that, but I knew it was going to get views. And the reason I knew it was going to get views is because the Kiwis can't help but watch the video. They cannot help. They, that's what drives me about them. They can't even realize when they're being used. They don't even, I could have literally put in the video. They're going to watch this video. They would still post and watch the video. I can't. I can't. Why didn't they realize that I told I used them? I used them. I used them. I'm confessing that I used them and they're still not going to get it. I knew that they were going to watch the video. Therefore, I made the video because I knew I was going to get the views from people I just don't care about. So not only did I use them, I got to roast them and I made I made a good, what, 10 bucks off of that? I, come on. Come on. But they told me I'm not clever. That was clever, though. You got to come on. Let's be honest. That was clever. That was clever. That was clever. I triggered them, made a video about them and then made money off of them while not being nice to them. I can't. Come on. You got to at least give me that. That was clever. I'm so mean sometimes, but I'm just OK. Like I said that in the video. OK, I know that sometimes I can be ruthless, but as long as I'm justified, then I don't mind. I'm never going to be unjustifiably mean. And sometimes like people are like, well, you should have did the right thing. Well, sometimes the right thing isn't being nice. Like had I been, I could have been nice to the bullies and not said anything at all. I could have like kept to my space and not said anything or called them out. I could have let the world continue on as it was. But even though that was nice, it wasn't necessarily the right thing. And that's what I had a problem with. Cause I don't really like, um, I don't really like conference. Hi, Jonathan. Well, oh no, it's not Jonathan. I can't see. I am so sorry. I'm just blind. I'm blind. There's lights in my eyes. It's Joanna. It's Joanna. There's Joanna. <laughs> I know. It's it's just I don't want people to ever think like I get the comment where they think that I'm supposed to be above making jokes or I'm supposed to be above being petty. I'm not putting myself on that pedestal because I'm not above being petty. I am not. And quite honestly, my grandmother, who is beautiful and wonderful in every way and has her doctorate degree, that woman is petty. She has roasted me many times. So I'm never going to be above making a funny joke, a snarky comment or being petty. And I never want to hear that. Like, you're supposed to be above that. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. That's the, that's the reason I, ch one of the reasons I chose the sovereign throughout history. Like if you, I'm a history nerd, warning, warning, history nerd right here. Okay. Throughout history, the monarchs, the female monarchs are the, of the world are remembered as being these beautiful, diligent leaders, but the female monarchs or sovereigns of the world are also some of the most vicious monarchs that have ever reigned on this planet. Bloody Mary and Queen Elizabeth were decapitating people left and right. Queen Elizabeth decapitated her cousin. Okay. <laughs> like let's, let's not pretend like I'm not going to pretend at all. I chose my name for a reason, meaning that I will be a responsible leader. I will be an uplifting leader. I'm definitely going to be the type of person that doesn't give a crap what people have to say. But when it comes time for my court to go to war, whether it be against racism or bullying, I have no problem going to war at all. And it might get dirty sometimes. And I've told people, I don't think I've looked, I've uploaded the video for the coterie, but I know spotlight, um, spotlight stealers in here. Um, if ever the court has to go to war again, which this was like, a, this isn't really a war war. This is very minuscule, but in terms of like YouTube world, I've seen what takes down YouTubers. So usually that thing that takes down YouTubers is them ignoring their own supporters when the supporters say there's an issue. So if I ever started like completely ignoring a mass group of you guys telling me there's a problem, that's an issue, which I would never do. But if there's ever a war that I have to deal with, like let's say Jeffree Star came after me, right? Because I made a video about him and I don't like him. Let's say he came after me. I would close down the coterie and I would... I would not permit any entry until that situation was smoothed over because I don't want people infiltrating my little sect of 
people that I trust and tell a lot of information to, I would close, I wouldn't close it off. I would close it off from new entries. So the people there would be safe, but I would basically be like sealing the castle. The same thing with the discord. Anybody who wasn't already a member of the discord, if ever I feel like we are going to war or we're under attack, like let's say Shane Dawson came after me and he was just like, oh my God, I hate the sovereign. And he sent all his people after me. I would close the doors of the kingdom, meaning everybody who's already there would still be able to be there, but no one new could come in because I don't want any infiltrators. So just for you guys to know in the future, if ever something like that happens, the coterie and the kingdom will be closed and safe. And the people that are already in there will be the ones disseminating certain information. We got a whole kingdom going on here. We're set. We are solid. We're good. What does this say? I'm looking at Melissa's um, post here. <laughs> oh, hi, Kate. What's up? What's up? Oh, wow, Kate. You petty. Kate's being petty. Petty, petty. Nah. Kate's being petty. I see you. <laughs> Kate's being petty as shit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm... I'm Honestly, I expect you, I expect this of my pageant girls and I hold myself to the same standard of pageant girls. Otherwise, I don't deserve to have the title the sovereign. But if I'm going to have that title here on YouTube, I have to be willing to go to war when necessary. Now, that doesn't mean fight every single battle. So if, if ever there's like some situation where I'm just like, whatever, I'm not going to fight every battle. But there has to be a point where I draw the line and I... I force myself. Otherwise, I, I shouldn't be the sovereign. What, are you, what is the point of being the sovereign if you're not going to fight a battle? So when it comes to certain things, I have no problem going to war. I will do it. So I'm just letting you guys know in the future. I might speak out again. If somebody does something really bad on YouTube, the way like Shane Dawson did, I will say something. And if they have a problem with it, then so be it. It shall be war. But like, and then some people think I'm going to continue. I'm not going to continue going to war with Charlie because I said what I said. Like I said, I'm just not like, for what? I don't hate the girl. I do, like, as a viewer, I don't like her content because I think her personality is drier than some goddamn re uh, freaking crackers. But, I mean, as long as she's not trying to destroy someone mentally, then go do you, girl. Whatever. Like, whatever. You know? But, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna let the idea... I don't like letting the idea that I'm unwilling to do anything persist because some people have this figment in their imagination that I, ho I have the same lines that they do. I don't have like the boundaries that other people have, uh, like Charlie and DC media girl, they have like certain boundaries. Like you don't mess with the farms. I don't care. I don't care. I don't have those boundaries. There's nothing I cannot. And I'm, there's nothing I can't do or I'm not willing to do. There's plenty of things I am willing to do that other people are not willing to do, okay? Let's just have that straight. And now that that president is set on my channel and people know this, I feel a lot better. I feel like people know me a lot better now that I've done that. Now they know the sovereign's petty. The sovereign can be harsh. She will go to war. Uh, there's nothing she's not willing to do. I want those things out there. So there's no confusion about who I am. And now that that's out there, I can get back to like the fun stuff. We're going to do Miss USA headshots. We're going to do some skincare, some makeup, some fashion with the muses. Like, this was a necessary thing to happen. So I'm happy with it. And I enjoy it because I think those jokes are funny. Funny, funny, funny. <laughs> uh, Queen Mary of Scots. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I mean, Elizabeth didn't want that to happen. She didn't want it to happen. That was her cousin. No queen, like... No queen wants to execute another queen. So when it came to like me speaking out against a pageant girl, I was not happy. And you guys saw in that video, I was pissed because I don't like having to execute a fellow queen. I respect these girls, but she was way out of line. And it's, it would have been hypocritical of me to allow her to slide just because she's a pageant queen. Can't do that. I won't do it. As much as I love the pageant girls, that was way out of line. I'm, I'm what I, one thing I'm not going to do is be a hypocrite. So if I have to execute another queen, the sovereign will pull a queen Elizabeth. I have no problem doing that. 
And I need people to understand that because people got it in their heads that I was some angelic little party princess. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Sovereigns have executed people throughout history. I will follow in their footsteps. (laughs) Yeah. I love Khaleesi. I don't... Look, we're not going to discuss Game of Thrones season eight, okay? Because y'all are trying to trigger me. You're trying to trigger me. As a a writer and as a storyteller, and I don't want to hear it from anybody because I have a fully written book in the other room by hand, written by hand. Yeah, season eight was a travesty. Khaleesi didn't deserve that, but that's neither here nor there. I have had my Khaleesi moment. And even like, you guys got to remember, like even in Game of Thrones, remember when everybody thought that she was so sweet and innocent and oh, she couldn't hurt a fly and everybody treated her like crap, right? Her brother treated her like crap. Her husband treated her like crap. Her people treated her like crap. But the moment she started setting fire to shit, people were like, oh, okay, respect the queen. So yeah, I set fire to some stuff. It was justified. I'm not going to burn down King's Landing. I'm not psychotic. I mean, I might have, okay, maybe I accidentally, (laughs) maybe I, it wasn't, okay, it was not my intent for the hater community to, like, disintegrate. I just wanted them to stop being jerks, but it seems like a lot of them decided to leave the community because they find it impossible to do reactions without driving someone mentally insane, which is, I mean, if you can't do a reaction without being a complete asshole, you should stop. So if that's what they felt they needed to do, then they should stop. That is one of my, um, oh, big love. You still haven't seen season eight. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. I regret watching it. I regret it. I regret it. And I was watching that show before everybody else was like, I was watching it when it premiered, when it was like an undercover show. Bro, don't watch it. It's going to like the whole fantasy and storyline and everything that's so beautifully built up in your head. Don't watch it. Just, just imagine, just don't do it. (laughs) Queen. Oh, are we talking? Okay. You guys are talking about Queen Mary. Are we talking Mary Queen of Scots? Are we talking Bloody Mary? There's different Marys. Okay. I know my Marys. So I'm assuming you're not meeting the other Marys. There's two May Marys. I don't know which one you're talking about. But I am not, um, I'll release my version. Oh no, I actually, look, I could rewrite the hell out of Game of Thrones and oh, it would be amazing. But I have my own novel. Yeah, that book was finished a while ago and I just haven't had the time to document it and flesh like it's written by hand so I've been transferring it to is that my mother no. that is my mother that's my mother my mom what are you doing <laughs> I have my own book that I finished but it hasn't been put on the computer and I've been transferring it to my laptop and I just haven't had time to like flesh it out but I'm supposed to be sending it to publishers because I want it published yes it's fantasy because you guys know I love all things fantasy it's amazing and it's diverse. It's diverse. Um, I feel really bad for, look at you, Game of Thrones is going to break your guys' heart. I feel really bad for people like myself when I was younger. I loved fantasy novels. I loved books. So I used to read them all the time, constantly. I read them like I ate food. I could finish one in a day, but they were not very diverse. The people on the covers were always like these bright, fair, super skinny, like, European girls and they look exactly the same every time and honestly as a child I thought they were beautiful I thought they were gorgeous I wanted this was before I was like a I was secure in being a black person every black person goes through a point in their life where they're not comfortable being black I'll talk about that in a video one day but every black every black person undeniably in the United States goes to goes through a phase in their younger years with they do not want to be black there was a point in my life I Oh, I did not want to be black. Um, And one of the things that reinforced that negative idea in me was the fact that all the books that I loved, the fantasy novels had these beautiful, very fair skinned European girls on the cover. And I'm just like, it never has anyone that looks like me. And I wish I could look like that. 
it just, yeah, it, it used to break my heart. So I've made a fantasy novel that is very adventurous and very inclusive and very, you guys know I love romance. We got the romance. We got the fantasy. We got some adult elements, but it's still okay for like teenagers. I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. Okay. Peyton, know you're a teenager. Behave yourself. <laughs> Let's see. Will you do more videos with your little brother or family? If so, what is the video is going to be about? Of course. Actually, for those of you who don't know, or if you're just now getting in here, because I know some of the people from different countries are waking up and coming in. I have a second channel for my family that I will be filming on with them because a lot of the videos on my main channel, I don't want to clutter my main channel. It's very structured. We talk about certain things and pageant stuff. So I don't want to put so much on the main channel. So there's a fly in here and I hate them. But the family channel is basically just my family. It's just vlogs. It's just our life and us being weirdos. So those of you who have not seen the family channel, it's called the house of sovereign. It is connected to my main channel so you can go and it's under featured channels click on the house of sovereign it has our family emblem yes we do have a we have a, fa a family sigil i did do that we have a family sigil <laughs> so the emblem is our family sigil and there's two videos up there already one of which features me battling spiders just <laughs> but i do have a total of four videos. So there's two videos that are not uploaded right now to my family channel. So I wanted to get the Kiwi video out of the way because I knew that they were going to be mad at me. So I'm just like, let them, let me just trigger them, make my, make my jokes about them. And then that's kind of like my seal on that period of like my YouTube saga in that segment, because there's nothing else I need to say regarding the haters. The haters have stopped making videos. I'm done with the Kiwi, so whatever. Um, so I wanted to finish with that little series and then upload the other two videos to my family channel because the Kiwis right now, they're really like, they're mad at me. They're seething. <laughs> so whenever they get the chance to dislike a video, they will. But they have yet to actually take down a video. So heh, you guys have done very good actually battling the Kiwis. If you've seen the dislike ratio to some of my hater videos, it's the Kiwis. They The only way that they have to really fight me is to like click a button, which is still engagement for me, which is hilarious. But they've never actually turned over one of my ratios. So they lost anyways. But now that that's over, the other two videos that feature my brother are going to be uploaded to the family channel. I'm actually going to start working to edit them tonight. And luckily vlogs, hello, fellow young people. Look at all you wonderful young people doing things with your lives. Okay. Yes. Yes. Be amazing. I'm going to upload those to the family channel. I'm working on them tonight. So one of them is me and my brother making air fries for the first time. We, we have an air fryer. Yeah. So it was our first time using the air fryer and the little boy was supposed to help me. He didn't really, but he's in the video doing a whole bunch of insane things. He's just like, he's like a little cat. He jumped in the air fryer box and then he's like rolling around in the box and he broke the box and then he trashed the living room, ripping up the box. It's all in the vlog. It's all in the vlog. You'll see him. My brother is, <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you. I don't even know what to say. Um, just, just wow. Why the F does the stream have 12 dislikes? Most likely the Kiwis in here uh, heard me talking mess and they're just like, she made jokes about us. How dare she? How dare she? <laughs> they can't take a joke. It's okay. People are allowed to hate me. I don't take it personally. It's totally fine. Um, so there's a vlog. There's one vlog about my brother. And the, the second one is me and my mom doing my brother's hair because my brother has dreadlocks. And I know a lot of people have like, they're kind of curious about dreadlocks, right? They're like, how do you deal with those things? So my brother's on the counter and we will like wash his hair in the sink and we have like the whole time lapse of us doing his hair. Yeah. So I have two videos already filmed that are going onto the family channel and I need to start working for uh, my main channel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're look, we're all in here having fun. So the people that are, you know, dropping dislikes, they're likely just here because they're mad at me. I'm just like, okay, that's fine. I mean, I don't understand how they can be mad at me when in the same video, I got jokes made about me too. 
from my own muse. How do you think I feel? Okay, let's not take it personally because we all got got in that video. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do some videos about like black people's hair because I understand the curiosity, you know, and I, I want to be open with you guys. I want you to feel safe asking questions, get to know, you know, my family, the way things are. And I know that I'm black, which is very different for a lot of you. And some of you have questions about just what's it's like, which I will say it's kind of different. Honestly, yeah, being black is kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie, being blood's pretty fun. Like knowing that you have like this little secret culture and there's kind of like a language that only black people understand and there's kind of, there's kind of jokes that only black people understand. And But it's not all fun, most of it's not fun. <laughs> I'm being totally honest. Oh, good night, Kira. We love you, we love you. Don't, yeah, I don't want you guys like staying up. So just go to sleep. I just wanted to spend time with as many people as I could, letting them all filter through and whatnot. Good night, Kira. I will see you in the kingdom. Absolutely. Oh, let me go in the kingdom. What's going on in here? Let me just see. Um, we're talking about, I see pageant people talking. Peyton. <laughs> Peyton said Kiwis are weird. Kiwis are weird. They're weird. I don't know, but they can be mad at me. That's fine. I don't know why they thought I would care, but okay. Okay, let's see. I'm just making sure I see all of you guys. But yeah, I will do videos about, you know, my life, my life as a black person, understanding black people, all those, all those things. Most of it's not fun, though. It's very difficult, especially being a black woman. Okay, if you think dating is hard as you are right now, try dating as a black woman. It's intolerable. Like I'm scared to even get on like dating sites and stuff because then I'll see like, because I date anybody, right? So I'll see like a cute white boy or a cute Asian but then in my head, I have to think, but do they date black girls? And it sucks that I have to think about that because if I was, you know, Caucasian, most of the time it wouldn't be a problem. But I have to think, do they date black girls? Are they going to treat me differently? What is their family going to think? Are they going to, you know, use me as some sort of fetish? Or are they really going to care about me? Are they going to just overly sexualize me? It's weird. It feels, it feels pretty sucky sometimes actually sometimes I'll find a guy I like I'll like and I'll start talking to him and then he starts making all type of chocolate comments and I'm just like okay let's not let's not let's not it's very weird it's very awkward you guys like being being black is usually not super fun it's usually not like you're always like feeling like you're watching your back because you don't know who's racist and who's not so you're just like and old people are super scary because old people are in that range where they were like living during the racist time. So you never know if it's like a racist old lady. And you're just like, it's, it's, it's anxiety filled. It's honestly, it's really full of anxiety, which is why I don't date very often. Cause I just don't like, I don't like navigating that. And then if I meet a guy who's not black, who I do like, then I have to worry about what his family is going to say. <sighs> That's just pressure pressure could you like it's one and it's one thing if he's white it's another thing is he's like asian god for oh my god because i've seen some people think i don't like asian dudes i do i love a good a good looking asian man but i'm always concerned like what is his family gonna say or or you'll have the family that thinks they're accepting but low-key makes nothing but racist comments around you like, how do I, I'm going to, like, let's say I'm going to my new boyfriend's house and his family is just like, okay, so we made sure we cooked you some chicken or they'll make like some sly watermelon joke. They'll be like, oh, we cut up some watermelon. Make sure you pass some down to Devana. Like, or as soon as like a ratchet song comes on, they're like, oh, here, Devana's going to twerk. Like, bitch, what? I'm wearing a sundress. Like, it's so irritating. It's beyond irritating. This is why, yeah, this is why I'm single. It's, I'm full of anxiety on the subject. I just can't. I just can't. And then you got the Pete Lake, and then there's like looking for a job. I can do an entire dissertation of how sucky it is to be black sometimes. Like just getting jobs, people talking about your god dang hair. Oh my God, I'm gonna drive myself insane. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, I just, I just, you guys have seen some of the videos I did on pageant girls when it comes to like black women. You so do you see the comments that these girls get? Like, 
there's a black girl on YouTube who has naturally blue eyes and she gets bullied all the time because people think her eyes are fake. Like she's beautiful and they're totally natural and they're stunning and she gets bullied because they, I can't with these people. I can't. I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so happy you guys are here. We are going to do, okay. I'm going to, cause we're going to almost be on two hours of live. So I'm going to, once it hit two hours, we have 10 minutes left and then I'm going to stop it. Otherwise we're all going to be here all night and I'm not keeping you guys awake. Okay. We all have, we all should have things to do. Honestly, let's be honest. We're all in quarantine. We're all just going to take an extra nap, but how often should we live stream and when should we do it? I leave that up to you guys. Like what, what are we doing here? Are we thinking like, is the weekends the best? Should we do it twice a month? When should we do these? Uh, when should we be streaming and get together and chit chat? Yeah, yeah. We're 10 minutes away from two hours, so then I'm going to cut it. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be here like you guys. We would be here all night having a slumber party, sipping out of my flower teacups, talking about all the ish going on in the world. Like we I could make it happen. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll do like a five hour live stream. <gasps> we could have a live stream slumber party. Oh, my God. We could totally do that. We could make it happen. We're going to, I will think about like when to do it. We're going to have a live stream slumber party one night. I expect everybody, nope, sleeping bags and all, no cheating. You're going to sleep in your living room and be on this live stream. We're all going to talk together. <laughs> I'm going to wear like, ooh, I can wear like my bunny or pajamas. Ooh, it'll be so much fun. <laughs> Fridays. Let's see. We see Fridays and Saturdays. So it looks like we're liking the weekends. So keep it on the weekends. Yeah, well, for those of you who are lucky enough to still have jobs, congratulations. We want you to keep them. Absolutely. So we'll do weekends. And I'm thinking, okay, so weekends for sure. Are we thinking every week, twice a month? Like, what are we thinking here? What are we thinking? Yeah. And maybe I'll come on with my, like, Instagram makeup done because I didn't do any makeup today but maybe I'll do like some IG makeup. I don't do IG makeup on like when I do videos anymore because the last time I did it, the Filipinos lost their minds. I didn't do that makeup for that day. It was for Instagram, but I didn't want to take it off and I filmed that day and then they were like, why do your eyes look so wacky? <laughs> it looked great in pictures, but for video, it didn't work. <laughs> every week, are we doing every week? It looks like we're doing every week. I can do every week. You know, I just didn't want to feel like I was like, bugging you guys but right? I don't I don't want to pet I don't want to be a pest like that fly up there on my on my thing I don't want to be a pest so okay I can do that doing a live stream is actually really easy because it's just me you know I just sit down I don't really have to set up anything and just chit chat with you guys right okay let's do it uh we'll see oh Oh God, don't even one. Yeah. One of my streams, we'll just talk about like relationships, right? We'll do that for a stream. We'll just talk about relationships because isn't that what every good girl talk is about boys? No offense to the boys in here. You guys can talk about your relationship issues too, because I know girls are, we, we can be problematic. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a liar. I know. I know when I eventually end up in a relationship, I can be a bit of a handful. I'm very affectionate. If you can't tolerate relentless and endless kisses, don't date me. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm a kisser, a hugger, a toucher. Oh, I'm a cuddle bug, all that. Yeah. So sorry. So sorry. I love talking to you guys. It's so much fun. Okay, so the decisions that we have come to is that every week... During the weekend, I will I will jump back and forth between Fridays and Saturdays because I know for some people, my Friday is going to be your Saturday and some people's Saturdays is going to be their Sunday. So I'm, I'll vary it from week to week so that everybody can jump in. And does the, how is this time? Or do we need to make it earlier? Maybe I'll make it earlier, but then the people from the Philippines can't come in because they'll be asleep. Huh. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll do one stream morning, one sh like one stream Filipino time early. I'll do a stream early in the morning and then I'll do a stream. The next stream I'll do will be in the evening time. So it can vary between 
the different communities because I don't want anybody like caught out of our crew. I want everybody to be there. Yes, yes, yes. See, we're all fair here. Okay. And in the meantime, you guys can always find me in the kingdom because this is, I know you can't see that, but I am in the kingdom. That's the kingdom. And Peyton's the last one to have commented. Oh, I'm checking the coterie. Who's in the coterie? Oh, he was asking for the stream. You know, you found Peyton be on my butt. He'd be like, sis. You guys know that meme? That meme of, um, who was it? It's the court. Judge Judy. She just... That's Peyton. That's Peyton right there. He'd be like, sit. Where's the stream? Where's the stream? Someone find her stream. Like, he... <laughs> Peyton is on <laughs> my stuff. If I ever go missing, Peyton would know. Peyton would know before my mom knew. He'd be like, nope. The su- he, would, he would be the first person to call the cops. It would be Peyton. He would be the first one on the phone and be like, hello? No, no, no. You don't understand. No, 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 no. She streams every Saturday at three o'clock and she is more than 20 minutes. No, you're not. Something's wrong with my sovereign. Go find her. Like Peyton would be the one to send Air Force One after me. Like (laughs) he would have a SWAT team on my butt before my mom knew what happened. Like that's why my mom knows who Peyton is. I'm like, mom, anything happens, talk to Peyton. Find him. He's easy to find. Trust me. Check the comment section. He's right there. (laughs) He's, you'll find him. (laughs) Oh my God. I can't see. Um, I'm looking at the stream from my stream server, not from the YouTube. So you guys are telling, giving me updates on what's happening on the, on the YouTube, uh, thing side of things, but I'll see it once I get off the stream. Okay. Um, yeah, I probably do need my, I will need mods, especially if we're streaming so often, if we're going to do it every weekend, yes, we will. I eventually will need some mods and I don't even know how to set mods, but once I learn that, I will, I will make sure to, to do that. Like, I don't think we've had any, (laughs) I know you want to be one. I don't think we've had any issues thus far with people like spamming the chat or anything. Like we've never, we've never had like a thousand people in here, so it's been okay, but definitely something that I have my eye on for sure. Okay. Everybody go do something productive, whether it's going to sleep because you're up way past your bedtime. Some of you not naming any names, but you know who you are. And some of you are up early in the morning and you're still in your pajamas. Go work out, go write a book, go do something to better yourself. Go start a new hobby. Like let's be productive. Let's be fabulous people together. And we will convene next week. And I will um, keep an eye on the community, the community posts. I will post on the community tab the exact times so that everybody, we're all here and we can chit chat. Also in the kingdom, you guys know I'm going to be there too, okay? Disperse. Go live your beautiful lives, my little butterflies. (laughs) Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I'm I'm supposed to work out, so that's what I'm going to go do, okay? I'm make sure there's no nip slips, right? So yeah, I'm ready to work out, okay? I'm going to do my bestest right now. Oh, you poor baby. They're like, I just got here. No, well, this stream, um, I'm going to keep all of my streams up. So if you ever want to like go back and watch them, or if you're like at home and you're bored and you need the sound of somebody annoying in the background, you got me. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the discord already. I'm, I'm here in the discord. Like where I'm going to type in here. Where is everyone question mark right (laughs) yeah I'm about to go get sweaty but we will have another stream next week what is today oh I should know these things it's quarantine like why do I have to why do I have oh it's Friday okay so we're on track to have it ever this is the technically the weekend okay I thought today was like Wednesday or something whatever whatever it's quarantine it doesn't matter okay okay we are exactly one hour and 59 minutes go be productive i'm gonna stop procrastinating okay because my thighs are a little bit thicker than they're supposed to be i love you guys and i'll miss you and i will see you in the next live stream that we are going to do every single week and hopefully i can fix my stupid cam link i think i threw it across the room earlier i'll find it i love you okay